Hello mga kaguro, this is Sir Jory, your partner and guide in troubleshooting and working out with your documents. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Epson L3110 scanner without CD. This kind of video is very helpful especially if you don't have external CD drive or if your laptop or PC don't have a built-in CD drive. And we were going to install this one via internet. So we will be using our uh, search engine and make sure you have stable internet connection. So all you have to do right here is to open your search engine. Right this time I'll be using my Google Chrome and uh, we have right here the link for the website where we are going to download the printer uh, scanner driver. So I'll be pasting this kind of a link here in uh, this uh, description box of this video all you have to do is to copy the link or click the link and then download the printer driver so in this part i already pasted the link and then hit enter so hello makaguro this is the printer driver of our epson l3110 printer and all we have to do right here is to scroll down to drivers here okay so we will be downloading only the uh, epson scanner because this laptop i have right now doesn't have any epson scanner i already installed the driver but i forgot to install the scanner so all we have to do is to uh, click right here in the scanner driver Epson scan to utility and there's a download button right here please click that one all right and then we have to save this one in our downloads and click save let's wait for a while and talk okay it's already right here at the bottom of our screen it's already downloaded and we can go ahead and click our file manager here and then click to the download folder and then this kind of driver that we have just downloaded all you have to do is to right click on that one and then run as administrator lang po. just wait for a while and then click yes okay let's wait until it's done and then click next and there's a checkbox right here click that one as we accept the terms and condition and then click next let's wait for a while until it will be successfully installed and we will be able to scan a document all right it's very simple lang po makikuro. Alright, I know that having a scanner is really important because uh, in this part, um, we are working with our IPCRF, RPMS um, output and we are scanning some of the documents that we have in school so it's very important for us to have a scanner. And this part, Makaguro, we have to click next, okay? So we have successfully downloaded the scanner driver and we have installed it already in our laptop. So we can find it right here as we search in our search bar. Okay, so it's already here at the bottom, Epson Scan 2. So we have already downloaded that one and I'm going to pin this application in my taskbar so that every time that I'm going to scan a document, it will be easily for me uh, easier for me to access all right so here in this part makaguro dito na po siya sa ilalim okay and if we're going to click that one it's already working if you have to scan a document all you have to do is to turn on your printer make sure that the cable cord is connected to your laptop or computer and then you can go ahead and scan a document in whatever format that you have in a PDF format, PNG, or a JPEG format. 
Alright, so this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and have a great day, Matthew.